drag to me is living the fantasy. Sometimes I want to be the most beautiful woman in the world. And then sometimes I want to look like a swamp monster. Drag has taught me that I can be all of the characters. My name is Vivian Vanderpuss and I'm from Victoria, BC. My transition into doing drag, it was like a very slow transition. It started with my love for like vintage clothing and then my love for vintage women's clothing. It was me sitting on my bed with the fur coat on and the clip-on earrings and, you know, talking about my ex-husband Donovan, which I don't have. I grew up in a small town in southern Ontario called Kingsville. A lot of my growing up consisted of running around in the backyard, just making up games with my little brother. I'm a wizard and you're a warrior and like that was my childhood. It was, it was a lot of make-believe. I moved to Victoria pretty well on a whim. I'd never been out to the west coast. All I knew was that I just, it was time to move. My friend suggested Victoria and I was like, sounds good. I kind of like the vibe of like that big small town and I didn't know it, but Victoria is exactly that. The Marydale Showdown was my first like real big drag show here. I just saw the diversity and I saw like the incredible talent and I just knew that like that is what I wanted to do. I studied photography in college and I've painted all my life. So drag was kind of like a, like a culmination of, of everything that I was interested in. It's kind of just understanding light and faces and posing and how that all comes together is drag. And it's kind of crazy how many facets drag is. Like you are the photographer, you are the painter, you are like the designer, the wig stylist, like you're the DJ. I've learned a lot of, about myself through performing. Where my drag started is being inspired by, you know, people that I used to know or my family or, you know, people that I imagined would live in my neighborhood. Then became characters about me and characters that I found in myself. I get as much out of the building process and the creating process and the coming together of the character as I do from the stage. The stage is kind of like the showroom and, you know, my house is the workshop. The Vanderpuss and Vivian Vanderpuss came from the idea of like a bougie, divorcee kind of, you know, Vanderpump kind of thing, combined with my adoration of cats. My drag persona started more with a female character. And then as I've progressed and explored makeup and costumes and all of that, it's, it's really expanded to more of a fluid character. When I come up with a character, it always stems from something. So sometimes it's a song, sometimes it's an article of clothing, it's a piece of jewelry. I've really enjoyed sharing my drag through social media because I can really effectively communicate characters, I can show their backstory. Twisted tendrils clawed their way up through the stained earth, reaching for the countess as she floated through her garden. The townsfolks never did like her horticultural interests. Something about the stench of rotting flesh. Lefty Lucy, she hummed to herself as she turned the rusted knob. Soon the thick life of villagers below began to surge through the veins of her flowers. Oh, how she loved gardening. Drag has opened up things for me emotionally that I didn't know that was there. Growing up queer, and it's probably less now, but I think you have a certain level of self-doubt and loneliness that's kind of unique to the queer experience. Everyone growing up feels like they're, you know, they're the only one with like that particular pattern of like unibrow or like, you know what I mean? Like everyone feels like they're the weirdo, but when you're queer, there's something extra. There's an analyzing of everything that you do because you're hiding and you're keeping a secret that that not everyone has to do. Not everyone has to keep secrets when they're a, a kid, when they're super young. I was very fortunate because when I finally came out, 
My family was very loving and very supportive and I'm so blessed. It's like 95% of it for me was that, it's that little voice in my head that said, no one's gonna like you. It, like if you tell them the story because that's very much the narrative that we're given. But for me, when I was able to unload that burden, I found that life was so much better. Victoria has a wealth of all ages shows. Of any of the audiences that make a difference when you're performing to them, it's a younger audience. I'm doing Florence and the Machines cover of Stand By Me. And when I hear it, it gives me the emotional response that I'm not alone. And I want that for the audience. Because I think as a performer that's performing to youth, it's in some way my responsibility to pass that message on. I want people in the audience when they hear Vivian Vanderpuss, I want it to be like a welling. It's like a movie that you've seen from your childhood. I want that. That's Vivian Vanderpuss. 